Hello and welcome to your Funky Alchemist Let's Play. Fallout right, 3, Episode 11, Part 4. And this one, we are still exploring the Chinese enclave of Mama Dolce's processed food. Very easy lock, four sets, ammo, obviously it being an ammo box, and some medical supplies, stim packs. Oops, accidentally took the blood pack. Let's drink it. Blood. Was just enough to heal us back up. So here's the douchebag who set himself on fire. I guess this is where the uh, <laughs> magic happens. So, see what we got over here. Way out to the loading yard. More Chinese ghouls. Anyone else? Yep. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Ow! Ow! Jerk, shooting me in the back like that? You have no honor! And you have no head. Or right leg or left arm. Well, let's go ahead and take an assault rifle to fix up our gun a bit. This Lord knows there's plenty of them in here. Let's fix up our magnum as well. Just for the hell of it. And to free up inventory space. I actually remembered to start the timer this time. I'm so proud of myself. Thank all that. Thing in here. Yep, yep, yep. We got guns and bullets. Can of beans. Pork and beans. Somehow I don't think I'd want to eat a can of pork and beans that I found in a bathroom. Call me crazy, but that just doesn't strike me as a good idea. Yeah, let's see. That leads up. So, up the toolbox. Grab it all. This leads to a bunch of nothing, really. Small red book. Open says me. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Absolutely fascinating. Alrighty, so let's head upstairs. See where these lead. Sugar bombs hiding back there? No. Toolbox. Crap metal. That ah, Dean's electronics. Not that we need it. Our repair's at 100, but still. Alright, let's continue on. Not going that way. And this probably just leads out to the loading yard. Yep. Aha! And we've got another sniper rifle. Another guns and bullets. Let's get our victory rifle fixed up. Hey, you got any 308? Three rounds. Jeez. Okay, so let's see what's over here. Back to the distribution. And we've been here. Well, okay, I guess that's it for this place. Let's get out of here. Can we fast travel from here? I think so. Is it trying to get us... Oh, it's trying to get us to go back to the Citadel. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Time to advance the plot again. 
I thought for some reason that there might have been something unique in uh, Mama Dolce's, but oh well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's see what this has to say. Yep. We got everything. All right, so I guess let's do what the uh, quest log tells us to do and find Scribe Wesset Face. Or what's her face? Find the dude we're supposed to talk to. Hi, Three Dog. Uh, to the laboratory. Down we go. Whee! Aha! Cleared it. Are they all just sitting around? Listen, thanks for getting us through that. I'm not stupid. I know we wouldn't have made it without you. Oh! I'm sorry about your dad, and I'm sorry I've acted like an ass. Uh, hey, we're cool. Great. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I need to get going. Bye. Hey, Garza. What do you need? I have to leave. And I have work to do. I guess you do. Hey, Dr. Lee. I need to collect my wits and figure out what to do next. Excuse me. Please yourself. What's up? Hey, hey, buddy. Hi. Yeah, so listen. Thanks and all. Really great job you did there. You... Didn't Boy, sound this, this place is something else, isn't it? Here. Really amazing stuff here. Goodbye. Whatever. Go whatever yourself, douche. Alright, so where's this dude we're supposed to talk to? This M? Hail. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. That's kind of you to say. How'd you know my father? I have been a part of the Brotherhood for many years. Enough that I was here when Project Purity first began. I did not work directly with your father. He and his team valued their independence, and I respected that. Hmm. Well, thank you for your sympathy. Think nothing of it. Now, Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. You need to locate some vault tech equipment? That's correct. My father was looking for something called a gek. Do you have one? A gek? <laughs> Goodness no, certainly not. I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. Sweet. So you know how to find one? Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly, the news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. Mm. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from Vault-Tec. It may have the information you need. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. Thanks for the help. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. I appreciate it. Hail. Brain. You honor us with your presence here. Yeah, I rule. Okay, so let's go to the archives. Or at least head in that direction. Oh, shit. Rothschild wants a report on your tests. Damn it. Have your results posted. Power systems are 90% at startup, but are running at 37%. Uh, let's try this again. We did not have guardrails up, douchebags. Alright, well, at least let's head in the general direction. Stuck so one short on time. In the A ring. At least there's no O ring. Football. Toolbox. Let's 
scrap metal. Great call. There is someone I'm looking for. Yeah. I already talked to Gunny at least. Yeah. Hey, Lion. Oh well, we're gonna go ahead and end it there. This has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play Fallout 3. Stay tuned for part five, four, five. Stay tuned, yeah, part five. And I hope you'll see me next time.